Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Also, we're going to be talking about Season 5, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so tonight we have the return of Supergirl after its mid-season break. It's finally coming back. We're getting this episode that is kind of long-awaited because it's been such a long time since the... Elseworlds crossover and also since the mid-season finale just the episode before just to quickly recap agent liberty in that episode was sent to prison so was manchester black supergirl left the deo and that's where we left off we didn't really have anything else apart from that and so in this video we're going to be talking about the potential confirmation of season five and also we're going to be talking about red daughter and what's to come so Let's go ahead and talk straight away about Red Daughter. So, in a recent interview, Robert Rovner, who is one of the showrunners of Supergirl, this is what he said. It comes much faster when we come back in regards to the Red Daughter plot. But we did want to tease it out so that we were able to platform Agent Liberty and some of the other stories that we were beginning in the first group of episodes. We didn't want the Red Daughter story to overshadow that and we thought it was very intriguing to tease out her evolution. We will eventually get to her origin story, but we wanted to tease it out that way. Okay, so this is him talking about the new Red Daughter storyline. So if some of you are like, who the hell is Red Daughter? It's the person on the screen right now. This is the potential doppelganger of Kara that we were introduced to as the cliffhanger of the end of season three after we had that massive fight and Rain was taken down, one hour left, Wynn left, and the Legion went back to the future, but Brainiac stayed here, and we saw Red Daughter for the very first time. So, now, finally, after the mid-season break, we are finally going to be going back into this, and it's going to be full throttle ahead, as he says, it comes much faster when we come back. And in the trailer for this week's episode, we actually got a Red Daughter scene, so that teases Yes, we're going to be getting that, and from what he's saying, from what Robert Roven is saying, we're going to get this fully fledged, and the way he words it, he says, we wanted to tease it out so that we were able to platform Agent Liberty and some of the other stories, and we didn't want the Red Daughter story to overshadow that. So by the way he words it, it seems like, yes, he's confirming Red Daughter is the main villain, that she's going to overshadow all of this stuff that came before, because if she were to actually be involved properly in the first half of the season, it would overshadow the Agent Liberty storyline. Therefore, from this we can infer that this storyline is going to be massive and she's probably going to be the main villain, as we've been predicting. So it's really kind of nice to get some confirmation of sorts and some news about Red Daughter because a lot of you guys were complaining and so was I that we really didn't get anything and especially I was complaining about the mid-season finale and they didn't tease any of that. I thought they would have done that, but you know, that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to tease it out for a long time. I felt like maybe they've teased it out for too long. I feel like at least by the mid-season finale, we should have had at least something worth chewing on, at least by that point. And additionally, Robert says, we will eventually get to her origin story. So he's supposedly confirming we're going to be getting the full origin, maybe an origins episode, like we've done with plenty of villains in the past. This origin is going to be crucial, and she's going to meet Supergirl at some point, and that's going to be really interesting. I actually can't wait to see Melissa interact with herself. You know, obviously she's going to use stunt double for one version or the other, but I think from the very minimal amount we've seen Red Daughter, I've been very impressed. And also, I have to say, I love Overgirl and I love Red Kryptonite Kara, and they are the two evil versions of Kara we've seen, so I'm really intrigued to see how she plays this character, if she's a full-on villain or if she's more of an anti-hero, like... Is she not in control? Is it more like Bizarro or something like that? So I'm really, really intrigued and I think all of you guys should be as well because this is lining up to be amazing, especially this back half. You know, I thought Agent Liberty, he was very good and maybe just little elements in the plot to do with, you know, the politics and things being played out at the start of the season didn't really work so well. I feel like it was a bit poorly written, but then as it's gone on, 
as we head towards the mid-season finale, it's got better and better and better, and I'm really liking season 4 at this point, and I think it's just gonna get better if I'm honest, and so I can't wait. Anyway, let's talk about season 5. So a few days ago there was a quote about Wynn, and the fact that Wynn isn't going to be returning in season 4. And so that sparked outrage, including myself, I was like, why did they confirm that Wynn's coming back in season 4? but he's actually now not going to come because the story didn't fit it and you know like i said i totally respect jeremy if he wants to continue doing his broadway stuff because if i'm there i would support him but obviously i live in london right now nevertheless talking in that interview one of the eps actually confirmed we think it's something better served in season five and this is in regards to win returning so this seemingly confirms that they are at least very very confident that they've got season five and they're already starting to think about season five especially in regards to what win's going to do this is a really good sign so i don't have any doubts that we're not going to get a season five but normally we get the confirmation in the past few years around you know february time or something like that but i think last year it was a bit later they waited so they could play out the storyline rather than actually think of next season so far so they can end off really really strong and so with them actually starting to talk about season five and what's going to be happening it seems like this is very very likely considering next year we have crisis on infinite earths they're going to want to get all those episodes in and if supergirl or if legends if flash if arrow if any of them are cancelled that's just going to whittle it down and i don't see any of them getting cancelled this year or in the next few years maybe legends goes at some point it seems very very likely we're getting season five and they're very very confident and it seems like a sure thing right now and so i think this is a near confirmation we just need to wait for official words from the cw before we actually you know jump the gun and say it's 100 percent confirmed but it's very 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 likely and so in season five we're going to see the return of win played by jeremy jordan so in terms of their storytelling, they said, you know, they think it's better to start next season with Re with Wim returning. So along with Wim, because he's been in the future for at least a year, or it could be longer because, you know, it's time travel, but he's going to actually come back. And the way he comes back, that will reincorporate the Legion of Superheroes. And I think if Wim actually fully comes back, which I hope he does, maybe Brainiac goes back to the future, you know, Jesse leaves the show or something along the lines of that. Or maybe he just goes to a recurring status again and if wins back as a series regular we get him back and with him being in the future he's been with Monel and he's been with Imra as well and so will the Legion return so in terms of that what I'm trying to say is is Imra and is Monel going to be returning next season as well if Win is to because They've been with each other in the future this whole time, we just haven't seen any of it. So maybe via some flash forwards or whatever they're going to do to bring back Win. Seemingly, we should be seeing Monel or we should be seeing Imra and these other Legion of Superheroes members. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for Chris Wood and Amy Jackson to return. Recently, we got some quotes from Amy Jackson seemingly confirming she's going to be working on Supergirl again for this season but we'll have to wait and see because i'm not entirely sure we haven't heard much apart from that but chris is really busy with his short films right now he's still living in vancouver so he has all the chance in the world to come back when they have a story for him and when he wants to return because they said they're totally open for him to return so with him living in vancouver maybe he has some free time next season maybe he wants to get back into the swing of things and return as monel because He's the fan favourite after all and so I really hope he returns and I really hope Wynn returns as they've seemingly confirmed for season 5 along with these other Legion of Superheroes members and maybe they reincorporate them back into the show and that would be very very exciting at least for me. So anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.